everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here so today's video is going to be another everything five pounds haul so for those of you who don't know you need to check out everything five pounds so all of their stock is bought from high street brands that you already shop on such as Topshop, H&M, Pretty Little Thing they buy all of the old stock and resell it so yeah definitely go and check it out because it's super affordable I'm going to begin with the tops I got I just picked up two tops so the first top I got is this roll neck top which is currently inside out it's in like a rib material and it's a chocolate brown colour which I absolutely love. I'm not actually sure where this is from. I do recognise the label but I have no idea where it could be from. I just thought this was a staple basic for winter. It's perfect to be tucked into a skirt, you can tuck it in with jeans, you can wear it underneath like a dress. It's literally, it's perfect for everything. And I got it in a size 10 and this fits perfectly. So the next top that I picked up, I mean, it's not the most suitable for winter. It does look quite thin, but it's just a black crossover wrap. I don't know what it's called. It's like a black crossover top. It just crosses over here. I got this in a size medium and this was from a brand called Boutique N. I just thought you could wear this with some joggers um, around the house. I could potentially wear it out. It's a more dressy top but it's also quite casual at the same time. It's not overly dressy but I think the wrap detailing just makes it a little bit more dressy than just a plain black top. So then the next thing that I bought from everything five pounds, I've worn them quite a few times since I ordered them. It's just these leather trousers. So they've got an elasticated waist and drawstrings as well, so you can make them tighter. The bottom is like this. So these are from a brand called Koo Look, and I got these in a size small. They don't look the nicest on camera, I'm not gonna lie, but in person they just look so nice when they're on. So then I'm just gonna show you guys the accessories that I got. So this is the hat that I got. I'm not sure what brand it's from because the tag has fallen off so it's just like a knitted material black hat it's got the fluffy pom-pom on the top and inside it's like faux fur material so it's so soft this is going to keep your ears so warm they do have it in a range of colors as well so they've got like white gray i always buy hats in black just because they go with everything it's just like this on the inside and then the outside of the hat is just like this knitted material so then the next accessory that i picked up is a pack of socks so I think there's eight packs of socks in this and obviously these are five pounds. Can't really go wrong there to be honest. These just come in your standard like sock sizing. So size three to seven. And I'm just gonna pull them out. Oh no, they're all they're all coming out now. It's definitely not eight. Right, okay, so you get 12 pairs of socks, so that is even better. Alexa, what's 12 divided by five? 12 divided by five is 2.4. What? I mean 12 pairs of socks for £5 I think that is absolutely amazing so these are like the perfect length of sock that you want to wear with boots very happy that I've got 12 pairs and not eight <laughs> I'm just overloaded with socks so then next up I'm just going to go over the knitwear which I bought because obviously it's winter it's snowing it's like minus five degrees we need that in our lives okay so when I thought that the hat that I got was the softest material ever this next jumper oh my god I wish I'd bought it in every single colour. It's a cropped jumper and then it's got like this toggle string on the bottom. Um, I have no words for this apart from the fact that it is so, so soft. I'm not sure what brand this is because the tag has fallen off this one again. But I picked this up in a size medium to large and I'm quite glad to be honest because it's quite a small fit. When I bought this jumper, they hadn't actually put the joggers on the website. So I saw it and thought, oh my God, I need to get that. It'd be perfect if they had the matching item though. The next day, I'd ordered this jumper. I looked back on the website, the joggers were in. I'd already paid for the delivery. I didn't want to pay for it again. So I thought, no, I'll wait until I see something else that I want to order it with. The next day, they were out of stock. Um, so yeah, I'm so gutted about that. I suppose I could wear them with any joggers to be fair. It would have just been nice, obviously have the matching ones so then the next piece of knitwear which i bought is this cardigan i don't normally buy cardigans but when i saw this one i just had to buy it so it's a really nice pink color it's like a dusky rose pink and then it's got these tortoise shell buttons i got this in a size medium and again i have no idea where this is from but they've cut the label out um so it must be from like a well-known brand so yeah i just pick this up to wear when i'm working from home and it gets a bit chilly so the next piece of knitwear i got is a bit of a random purchase i'm not gonna lie i don't know what possessed me to get it but it's this university of cambridge sweatshirt they had this in literally like every color they had the zip up sweatshirts as well they had the baseball caps 
I think they had the scarves. They literally had everything. So I think the University of Cambridge, they've definitely got way too much stock in and sold it all to everything five pounds. I got this in a size small, but I do wish I'd sized up because I mean, I know it doesn't look that small on camera, but when you put it on, it's not as oversized as I'd like it to be. So yeah, I do wish I'd gone for medium, but it does still fit, so that's fine. Now, I didn't get this to go out and about and wear it and pretend that I go to Cambridge Uni. I'm not a genius. I just got it to wear around the house, just to wear with joggers. Um, I'm definitely not gonna be seen in public wearing this. Then the next jumper which I bought is definitely a more normal jumper. It's just this plain black knitted jumper with a little v-neck at the top. I don't tend to go for jumpers that have like a massive v-neck at the front because they definitely do not suit me but this is just a little v-neck at the top so I didn't think it'd be too bad. I got this in a size large. That is definitely not a large. It's by the brand American Holic. This is just a staple for winter. It's a plain black jumper. It'll go with everything. I'll definitely be wearing another top underneath this because otherwise it feels like it's going to be one of those that like scratch your arms and I'm not about those jumpers. So in the last piece of knitwear which I bought, I'm not too sure on yet, um, I've not decided on this. It's this grey jumper dress. I thought this would look super cute with like a belt around it because obviously at the moment this just looks, it doesn't look good. You pair it with like a black belt, some boots, some tights, it could potentially look quite nice. I got this in a size small and the brand is Designer Collection. So fingers crossed that the belt chases it up a bit and makes it a bit less basic. So then I also picked up a dress which definitely isn't being worn in winter. So it's this blue daisy print wrap dress and yeah I just think this will be super cute for like summer, spring. I got it in a size medium. It's from the brand Avivi Collection. I think that's how you pronounce it. It smells like it's been in an attic for months and months and months but yeah i just think this is so cute and it looked perfect with white trainers or sandals so the next dress i bought i suppose with this one you can actually wear it in winter you don't have to wear it in spring summer because it's black of course so it's just a black polka dot wrap dress seems to be a little theme going on with buying wrap dresses this is from the brand mcb and i got it in a size so it's in european sizing so it's a size 38 which i presume is a size 10. i love black i love polka dot print and i think this is super cute it looks massive on camera but it's not actually that big once you try it on so then another dress which i got is also from the brand cool look so i got this in a size medium and again it's just a black dress it's just got pockets at the top here and then it buttons down so it's just got these pleats at the bottom here i just think this is such a cute dress it goes with absolutely anything i think i'd pair it with some heeled boots though and probably wear it if i was like out from meal or something but yeah this is definitely giving me like zara vibes i think it's because of the um, bottom of it the style of it you definitely find this in zara so then last but not least i bought a jumpsuit and i have absolutely no idea where i'm planning on wearing this but i love it Okay, so I'm just going to show the brand because I have no idea how you pronounce that. So this is the brand that it's from. And I got it in a size medium slash large, which it's not actually that big. More of a size 8 slash 10. So yeah, definitely get the bigger size on this. It's a halter neck jumpsuit. So it ties around the back of the neck. And then it zips up at the back to make it easier to get on. It looks like a weird sort of bib when it's like this so yeah i'll definitely put the try and clips in because otherwise you'll be like what on earth is that they've got like splits on them so basically once you stood up they do look like trousers but then when you move about they've got like a massive split down them um so it sort of looks a bit like a dress skirt i have no idea why but they make me feel taller so yeah that's a bonus definitely one that you need to wear with heels because obviously the legs are super long um so I would be tripping over if I didn't have heels on. I have no idea where I was planning on wearing this because it's definitely a dress that I'd wear for like an occasion. Five pounds, just get it, put it in the wardrobe. If you've ever got an occasion that you need to dress up for, then it's there, it's waiting. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let me know in the comments as well what your favourite piece was from this haul. And yeah, definitely check out everything five pounds if you've not before because it's amazing.